Hey guys, welcome to L8 zeros of quartic and quintic functions. Know that a quartic is y equals x to the fourth, and quintic is y x to the fifth. Okay? I want you guys to copy this in your notes so you will have it, and then you can work on this assignment. All right, objectives. Students will be able to find zeros. Zeros, remember what you're looking for. Zeros are your x-intercepts of quartic and quintic functions. Okay? Using graphs and synthetic division. And we have done synthetic division, so please pay careful attention. And I know you guys know how to do this, and you need to get really good at it. And so you guys got days to practice to get really good at this. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and start off with the very first one. Example number one, it says find all of your zeros using graphing and synthetic division. So you're going to use a combination of all of them. You might even have to use P over Q, your rational root theorem, if you can't find where they are. All right? So first of all, I would try to use my calculator and keep in mind no more decimals because I've, you already know how to do all of these things. Okay? So from here, you are not allowed to use decimals to find one of your x-intercepts. All right. So now I'm going to go and do this first. You notice how it is x to the fourth. So you should have four answers. You can write them as uh, where your y is 0, or you can just write x equal 2. It doesn't really matter to me. Okay? x to the fourth, that means you're going to have four solutions. There's one, two, three, and four. You are going to have four solutions. That's what you're trying to find. All right. So first of all, I'm going to go to my y equal, and I'm going to enter my equation. Excuse me. Let me get out of that. All right. So I'm going to have x to the fourth, right click, minus 81. And I'm going to hit graph. All right. I had my graph earlier. If you hit zoom and go to number 6, zoom standard, it will drop you to negative and negative. Okay. Negative 10, positive 10, negative 10, positive 10. Now, notice I can't see down here, but it doesn't really matter because I'm looking for the x-intercept. I'm just seeing where I can cross. I'm going to go to my table so you I can find some zeros. Notice one of them is a 3. Okay, let me do that in red. And I want to see if I have another one. This one looks like a negative 3, so I have two of my solutions already. I am going to use those to help me find my other two. All right, so here we go. I'm going to use this one first. So I'm going to write my 3. Notice I am missing a few things here. It's not in correct order. So I have x to the 4th plus 0x to the 3rd plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 81. Okay, kind of running out of room. My apologies. All right, so I'm going to use synthetic division. So 1... 0, 0, 0, 3 zeros, and negative 81. When I finish, my remainder should be a 0. So let's go ahead and start. Bring down your 1, synthetic division. 1 times 3 is 3. Add 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Add 0 plus 9 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus 0 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81, and there I have my no remainder. Okay, so there's your zero. So this one works, that right there. So there's my check. Now watch what I'm about to do. Next part, I'm going to use this one right here. Okay, negative 3. Notice where I start my negative 3. I'm going to continue with my synthetic division right here. Notice I didn't rewrite it, okay? I also know that I started right here with x to the fourth. And here is x to the third, because you have taken one away every time, every time you're dividing by x. So bring down your 1. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 3 times ne 3 plus negative 3 is 0. 0 times negative 3 is 0. Add. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. And notice how this is also checked. Okay? So there's my two answers. I need to go find two more. You have brought it down to a quadratic. You know what to do. You can factor. 
You can do completing the square, you can do this quadratic formula, or you can just take the square root. Depends on what you have, you will determine what you are going to do, okay? Now, remember what I said. You started off with x to the fourth. You took one away, so you got x to the third. You took one away, so guess what you have right here? x squared plus 0x plus 9. And I'm going to set that equal to 0. Do I really need to have that 0? No. So I'm going to rewrite it as x squared plus 9 equal to 0. Okay? Count your terms. 1, 2. The easiest thing for me to do here is probably take the square root. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. That leaves you x squared equals 0 minus 9 is negative 9. Notice I have a square here, so I'm going to take a square root. So x equals plus or minus every time you take a square root is square root of negative 9. Notice how you have a negative. It comes out as in i. Okay? Plus or minus. What's the square root of 9? Square root of 9 is 3i. So there is your other two solutions. So positive 3i and negative 3i. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where this has been now, right here. Okay. And that's how you use to graph all the others and find all your x-intercepts. All right, let's go to example 2. All right, find all your zeros as well. Take a look. You got x to the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. You should have five x-intercepts when you get done. Okay, hang on just a moment. Let me fold that over to help me see better. All right, so here we go. Use your calculator. Okay. And go to y equal. Now I'm going to type in x to the fifth, because that's your highest degree. So x raised to the five minus four x raised to the fourth minus two x raised to the third plus four x squared. Oops, I better fix that. Delete, delete. Okay. Delete. Oops. Delete. Okay. Two x to the third, right click, plus four x squared plus x. All right. That's not x, that's 4. Okay. Let me double check. x, 4x squared minus 2x squared minus 4x. Okay. To the fourth. Okay. All right. I got it all. Now here's my graph. Okay. Now, my graph doesn't show as well because there's actually a bump there. So I'm going to go to the table, see if I can find any zeros. Look at that. Here are some zeros. Negative 1, 0, and 1. So i got to go find my other 2. Okay? And I do not see anything else that looks like it would be. There we go. All right, so first of all, don't use the 0, okay? Because technically what you are doing is this. You have factor out an x, and when you factor out an x, you have x to the fourth minus 4x to the third minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. You see how this is already set equal to 0? That's this one right here. Okay? So I'm going to use the inside to help me. All right? So I'm going to use this one right here. Because I've already factored out an x. And if not, you would have used all these three. You would have done three synthetic division. I'm going to try this one first. Negative 1. And I'm going to use the inside here. 1, negative 4, negative 2, positive 4, and 1. And I'm going to do my synthetic division. Bring down your 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Add negative 5, negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, add, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, add, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, gives you a 0. Remember, you started off with x to the fourth here, okay? So this one worked. Let's go ahead and do this one here. So I'm going to continue with my synthetic division. 
Notice I didn't rewrite. Bring down your 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Add. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Add. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 0. Okay? So guess what? This one also works. All right. Continue on. So this was x to the 4th gives me x to the 3rd. This leaves you 1x squared minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Okay? That's what this is right here. Now, I could try to factor, but I don't know any two numbers that multiply to give you 1 and is going to subtract to give you 4. I don't know any of those numbers. So my best method, my best guess is probably to try to do a quadratic function. Quadratic formula, sorry. Where a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is negative 1. Okay? So x equals negative b plus or minus, don't forget your plus or minus, square root, negative 4 squared minus 4 times your a times your c, all of it over 2 times a. Do this part first. Okay? Type that into your calculator. Just like this. Get out of that. Parentheses, negative 4 squared. Or you can just take it a positive. Minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. Comes out to be 20. Okay? So x equals negative times negative makes it a positive plus or minus square root of 20 over 2. All right. See, you can simplify. 20 is not a perfect square. So it's 4 and 5. 2 and 2. Okay? So guess what you now have? x equals 4 plus or minus 2 of a kind. Brings out your 2. Square root of 5 left over, over 2. Cover that up. Is there any number that goes into 4, 2, and 2? It has to be in all three. Yeah, 2. So I'm going to divide each of these by 2. So your final answer comes out to be 2 plus square root of 5 over 1, 2 minus square root of 5 over 1. And there you have your five solutions. One, two, three, four, five. And that's what you guys are going to do for lesson L8. And then you have a review. You are going to have a quiz on Friday. Thank you.